Hi there, thanks for watching and welcome to this tutorial and today I have something special prepared for you because I just bought a new lens and the lens that I bought, so just to remind you, I have, I'm working on a Panasonic Lumix S1 and the lens that I bought is the Sigma 35mm 1.4, um, so with an L mount for, for Lumix and um, I only really had one occasion to work with it but this was on the day that I got it delivered and it actually turned out to be a, a beautiful colorful shoot so I was working with Kimberly she's a Dutch singer pretty famous she got like more than 10 million um, views on YouTube when it comes to her uh, Voice of Holland auditions and um, so I'm filming, I'm helping her out with some cover videos with filming them and um, in return she's also my model and she's very photogenic, she has a very beautiful energy about her and that's also something that you can see in the, in the videos so long story short this is a shot that I filmed um, and just to give you an idea of the statistics this is a 4k 10 bit vlog shot and it was filmed in 30 frames per second and also directly on the recorder on my Atmos Ninja 5 recorder and this way I, I was really able to get this crispy kind of image and um, we will be uh, it, it's gonna be much easier for us to to cor color correct it to grade it etc by the way uh, sorry for my eyes it's been a very hot and long day and I am a little bit um, yeah my eyes are a little bit red because of the weather and everything so just forgive me for that and we're gonna jump straight into the into the uh, um, tutorial so the first note is the vlog note and let's give it a name as well straight away then we have the primaries and then we have the white bands okay so like straight away we have pretty cool, cool image and uh, we jump to the second note and let's play around with the with the notes and so what we want to have is first of all uh, we don't want the highlights to be too dominant because there are pretty there are a lot of highlights in this shot I mean look at the uh, sky in the lower part of the image and especially her dress but also some of her skin tones which we will have to tone down and as a matter of fact let's try to do it straight away let's leave the shadows a little bit okay so that's cool for now and the next one is the contrast let's raise the contrast to like 200 to like 20 percent and then you by using the pivot you, we can really get those parts of the image that we want to come forward and in this case that will be Kimberly so like this and let's have a little bit more there we go so as we see we have a lot of a lot of detail a lot of levels and I think for now okay let's play with the colors first I think I, I already like what I see but this is just the beginning of this shot so in this video we will um, focus on creating a look and experimenting with different looks without using the LUTs so without using the lookup tables um, we are in the white balance as a matter of fact let's turn the uh, highs highlights a little, bit, a little bit lower there we go I like it white balance let's um, we need the vector scope and so we have a pretty um, we have a pretty leveled but we we have a pretty balanced shot when it comes to the colors uh, what we want to do is just help ourselves and one thing that I that's that will be amazing 
is if we'll be able to you know to make sure that her dress has a different color than the sky but I think that that won't be a problem uh, I want to have more saturation let's go like this but within limits and let's perform a little bit of the secondary of the secondary color correction and make sure looking at skin tone indicator right here this is where you ought to be looking and make sure that her skin tones look right and so for now I actually want to I don't want to work too much on, on her skin tones and change my mind when it comes to that um, let's see actually for now for this for this phase this is enough so the next step is let's work on her skin tones but as a mask let's call it skin tones there we go skin tones and let's zoom in a little bit I really I already like how her lips are being separated from her skin tones and also I mean look how cool filming in 10 bit is because we even have the shadows the colors that's being cast on her cheeks by her sunglasses it's pretty cool and to be honest like looking at this I really I already like how her skin tones look like but one thing that's pretty sure is that we don't have a single like there is a difference in contrast and in color so let's work on that we're gonna create a mask from all the, her skin tones but not like this let's go to let's see if I can actually get it done right because I really don't like working on the skin tones but I guess that I have to and let's see if we yeah it's it's not too bad a little bit in and I think that if we're going to Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah, trying pretty hard to get it right. Well, this is this comes better. The only thing that I didn't that I don't want are her lips. But yeah, I think that for now this this looks pretty decent. Far from perfect, but. Let's call it the skin tones. Okay, so when it comes to her skin tones, um, let's see how, first of all, we can make it a little bit darker and lift the shadows to make sure this is before, this is after all, not a, not a big difference just yet. Let's boost the color here. And again, if we get the skin tones right, then the rest will be quite easy. Okay, so let's go up after all and lower the mid-tone detail to make sure that her skin is softer. This is when you, when you add it, this is when you decrease it like this. When it comes to the rest of the picture, we're going to I'm going to work on that as well, also with mid-tone uh, details. Uh, let's boost the color a little bit, and I like it. Okay, the next part is much easier, and this is the, the dress. There we go. We're going to isolate it. Well, this 
should be very easy to, to do. Um, we have a little bit of the tree on the right, but we don't worry about this too much. And to make it easier, we're just gonna create a window to make sure that the tree on the right isn't included in our uh, selection. And so, okay. So when it comes to her um, dress, well, to be honest, right now we can choose for any color that we want. So if we want to experiment with colors, then, you know, here we can, I don't know, let's, let's make it green, but like a, 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 a believable, a believable kind of green, even like this. Looks pretty cool. And so when do you want to do this? Of course, if you have like more shots, then you have to be careful because the colors of the dress should be consistent with the other, I mean, in different shots. But for here, you can simply make her dress um, look better as both. And also one thing that I would like to change is to make sure that it's slightly different than um, than the sky, meaning that this is not the one. There we go. Meaning that we're going to more in the direction of like teal. Yeah, this is nice. And this is perfect and I like it. Next one, because we don't want to work spend too much time on the shelf because that can be um, well there is a sweet point where you just when you reach a certain level of, of creativity and everything that you'll be adding to it afterwards well those things can be quite tricky um, I think this is cool I don't want to I don't want to um, play too much with the with the greens right here. I even have a little bit of the. Okay, this selection is not really working just yet, but this is this looks better. I f I'm, I, f I feel like I'm making really rookie mistakes with this shot, but to be honest. It's right. Anyway, let's let's call them those our greens. Let's make them a little bit lighter, give a little bit more contrast. Right now, I'm not even really sure uh, which direction I'm going, but you know, this way. Let's see. But this way, you don't know. There are no, okay, this is not right. Okay, I'm going to choose something different. Um, so what we've seen just now is that when the mask uh, got a lot of noise and it's not chosen properly. Uh, one thing, I, two things I'm going to uh, let stay here in the shot are the trees because I don't want to give them too much saturation as I want to um, direct the, the attention to our model here, to Kimberly. Okay, so um, instead of selecting those greens um, as a mask, I'm going to I'm going to just apply secondary secondary color correction, something like this, very good. Um, is there a different way to, to approach this? Well, of course there is. I can, we can actually add another layer. Let's put them right here and let's create some sort of window that would
that would increase the greens. Um, let's see if this one will work. There we go. Um, is there something to, to do with the levels? I don't think so, because this way we're also affecting the model and I don't want her face to be too um, too light but one thing is one thing that we can do is just to play around with this mask and see where we can put it like this okay pretty much like the model uh, pretty much like the <laughs> the shot that we have. Um, let's... Let's play just a little bit more with it. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. So what we created here is, is a vignette, but it's a, not really a conventional one. Um, one last thing I want to do is I actually want to create another vignette, but this, this time let's create a vignette that desaturates um, the borders of our shot. Let's do it like this. Let's go to the key and reverse it or invert it. And let's, so we are working on this part. Um, and let's decrease the saturation to, well, as a matter of fact, you don't really see it, but it helps the shot a lot, creating a little bit of depth as well. Very good. Okay, so this is the shot and um, let's grab the still, let's save this look. And so what we want to do next is just spend a couple of minutes just playing around and see what we can create, how we can change the mood. So right now I'm just playing with the wheels and create a little bit more of an autumn look without you know changing her skin tones too much and as a matter of fact we can also for this one we can change her dress a little bit it's actually very funny it's like a cream color really really puts the focus out of the dress because it's it's not coming forward it's not differentiating differentiating <laughs> itself in any way but I like it for now and then um, make sure that her skin tones are still okay like this um, one more mask that, that, that we can add is the one for the sky there we go however i wanted to have everything in picture let's go like this and this is the matter of luminance there we go This looks pretty cool. Okay, so what we can do with the sky? Well, anything we want, really. This is, this is, by the way, an amazing way to create a cool look. Because what's really important is that when you are, you know, when you are dependable from the lots, you know, then you have only one look. And lookup tables are never a, a quick, 
um, a quick fix, I think. I think they, um, they require a little bit of attention and skill as well. Um, but when you learn how to create your looks, well, this, you, this will give you so much more creative uh, possibilities and opportunities. And um, I think at the end of the day, it's pretty satisfying for an artist to create something that's unique, that's not like a look created by uh, Peter McKinnon, for, uh, for instance, or any of the you know, famous cinematographers. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. As always, I'm sharing the raw footage and also this shot that you can download as a vlog footage either in 8-bit if you don't have a paid version of DaVinci or as a 8-bit file, which I really recommend because that's exactly the file that I've been working with right now. So, um, thank you so much for, for watching. Um, if you've downloaded one of those files and you want my feedback, make sure to send it to the email that I put in below. If you have any questions, you can email me as well, but I rather prefer that you will put it in the comment section because um, sometimes you gonna have the same questions that other people have and this way you can actually help them as well so if you have any questions if you have any suggestions or tips for um, another sorts of content videos just let me know I am looking forward to your input thank you again thank you so much for watching um, this was Edmund Pionov and um, I'll see you in the next one thank you <music>